So coming back from the Arnold weekend, super, super, super motivated. And I absolutely hate that word. I'm a big discipline over motivation guy. Because uh, you're typically never motivated whenever you need uh, need to be working the hardest. You're typically all like beat up and tired and have a million things going on. So not a big motivation guy, but came home from the Arnold, feeling like I could run through a brick wall. You know, if you're a bodybuilding fan, it's an exciting thing for bodybuilding right now. Um, you know, the guys that we have coming up and you know, the guys that are here. So I feel like this weekend was a big step in the right direction to uh, you know, bodybuilding being truly exciting again with everyone we have competing. So huge shout out to Samson. You know, couldn't be a nicer person. And obviously he's an incredible bodybuilder. The progress he's made in the last year. You know, I still remember watching the Arnold last year. And uh, my biggest thought coming away from the weekend was, Samson's gonna be a problem next year. So, fast forward a year, beat my ass at the Olympia by one spot, and just won the Arnold Classic. So, hats off to Samson. That was awesome to watch. Couldn't have happened to a nicer person. He's got a great team around him. The significant other's incredible. You know, obviously, Fuad and Ben and the rest of the hostel crew. So, fun to be a fly on the wall and see it this weekend. Uh, me personally, you know, went out there uh, for Wolf and for Wolf. Went out there for Wolf Pack and Gasp, and you know, then we had a couple of really good sessions in with the Gasp boys. Me, Brett, and James actually trained Push at Elite FTS, and uh, that's a bucket list gym for me. For those of you who don't know what Elite FTS is, that's uh, Dave Tate's gym, one of the most accomplished powerlifters in the history of the sport. So, all of the Labrado equipment, like our racks and our benches, and um, some other stuff is all Elite FTS stuff. So to be able to go there and you know, see the amount of history on the walls and just the amount of just gym equipment there. So if you want to check that out, that's up on Gas YouTube. It's a cool video. But yeah, in addition to that, did a really cool seminar at American Barbell with the Gas guys. You know, did a meet and greet Q&A and then finished up with a deadlift party. So that was fun. I and mean, then, yeah, the expo is really coming back. I'm not going to say it's as big as it was pre-COVID yet, but you know, Saturday it was hard to get around. So it was a lot of fun getting to work both at Gas and Wolfpack for the weekend. Um, I got to meet a lot of really cool people, interact with fans I've met before, met new ones. So you know, it was really good. Um, you know, speaking for myself personally. You know, it's very easy because I purposely keep myself out of bodybuilding, like news and drama as much as possible. I don't see it bringing anything to me. It kind of stresses me out, honestly. So to be able to go this weekend and it be, you know, 99% positive, you know, getting to meet all these people that tell me the impact I have on them and meet all these people that say they follow along with all the stuff I put out. So you know, it was really nice because... You know, sometimes I feel like, uh, you know, you only hear the loudest people yelling loudest in the room. 
and typically it's not positive. So it was really cool to go and just be around you know, a lot of like-minded individuals that were excited to be there and happy to meet you know, me and the rest of the athletes that were there. So all in all, one of the better Arnold weekends I've had in a long time. Yeah. Came home recharged and uh, you know, excited about bodybuilding. So really excited for the rest of this year. Um, always excited to get back to work, but like I said, motivated right now, so that's good. Um, rest of today, I'm gonna finish this cardio up, go home, eat breakfast, and then we have a big win the day launch today. We're gonna be filming all the content and everything for the drop, and then show y'all what the t shirt operation looks like. So, give you a little behind the scenes look of you know, what it looks like to launch the new products and, you know, how the operation works. So do that, eat again, and today's push. So train push with Jordan, and then from there, it's off to grab Brooklyn to take her to Tumbling, and I'll probably leave y'all at that. So excited for today. You know, today's pretty, pretty typical day in the life. You know, wake up, bang out cardio handle whatever business stuff needs handled, eat again, train, and then uh, I need to go get my daughter and get her needs she needs going, if it's a day that I have her, and if not, get home and you know, rest and get ready to do it all over again the next day, so typical day in the life, looking forward to having you all on. stairs that's comparable if not harder than having to pull them on stage whenever I'm tired and running around and posing so I do them after cardio specifically to make it harder so that's the reason uh, every single morning after I do cardio I'll uh, pull four to failure like bent over like this pull four to failure just standing and then I'll pull four to failure with my hands above my head and as far as technique goes, there's a lot of videos out there. You're going to do a lot better job of explaining it than I will. And I also hit up Charles Griffin. Shout out to Charles. He was the one who originally wanted to make me uh, do these. I saw how drastically he was able to change his waistline with them. So you know, he was super helpful, you know, shared all the secrets, if you will. But uh, yeah, so basically all you're going to do is you want to exhale every last bit of air you have in your body out. And then think not about just sucking in, but really trying to pull your belly button to your spine. For me, it was one of those things where I could barely get my belly button past my sternum when I first started. And then, you know, a couple days in, like there'd be like this little flicker of like a weird feeling. Like it would legitimately surprise me at first. But, uh, you know, the more I did them and, you know, stayed consistent with them to the point now where I can really like pull them, you know, a couple times at least before, you know, the muscle gets tired enough where it's not really getting up there anymore. So, I'm not going to see bummer yours yet, but <laughs> for 280 pounds, it's starting to look like a vacuum. It's kind of funny, I come and do these in this same corner of the gym every single day. And obviously, I do my car. So we are back at the house and uh, you know, beyond excited that uh, Liv and I were actually able to uh, purchase a new home in the last month. So we're currently in the process of moving, but we're uh, very much so we're able to make like a dream home for us happen. You know, we got to be out an acre and a half. Uh, the dogs have, you know, like over an acre fenced in, in the back, which if you know us, we absolutely love these crash test dummies in here. They've taken over your office. This is the your yeah, office, this is right? The, this is the dog office. This isn't the office. This is the dog office. But yeah, so it's awesome for them, and then it's one story, so my ass doesn't have to lug myself upstairs, which was like, as funny as it sounds, like one of my things that I really, really wanted. 
And then we're in Houston, so it's like 100 million degrees all summer long, and there's a pool for all of us in Brooklyn and everything. So, you know, very, very fortunate and very, very happy to be here. It's made a really big difference for, you know, me and Liv's mental space already, and that's really cool to have something that's, that's ours that we're doing together. So, very happy about the house. But anyway, let's eat breakfast. Obviously, I'm eating a lot more whole foods. Uh, this off season, um, very much so liking how it's making me feel, very much so liking how it's making my physique look, um, very much so this is the biggest one, very much so liking how intact my appetite stay. Um, you know, every year in the past, especially you know by now, like two months into really pushing things, uh, the food's gotten high enough to where it's like I don't even want to look at food and it puts me in a bad mood having to eat. But you know, right now I'm still enjoying my food and you know making it taste good and I think one of the biggest things is the new house has like a kitchen with a range that I actually enjoy cooking on so that's cool too. I enjoy cooking so it's nice to be able to make the diet food taste a little better. But yeah, I really enjoy eating this and then you know I'll go on like my little kicks, I'll go to the grocery store and like pick condiments for the week. Uh, flavor profiles I want so lately I've been doing like my stir fried beef meal with a uh, a big scoop of garlic paste and then like one weight serving of this Korean barbecue. Um, basically just soy sauce and teriyaki and a little bit of sugar. So uh, definitely not a prep sauce, but like I said, I am weighing it, so I'm adding 30 calories worth right now from that. So really like what that does for the food. But anyways, yeah, that's good. So wanted to give a big shout out to uh, Cali Cooks Meals. This is not a national meal prep company. He is just out of Houston uh, and surrounding areas. He supports all the local shows here in Texas, but his is the only meal prep food that I like to eat to the point where I don't you know, want to go to the grocery store and cook it myself. I've tried just about every meal prep company there is, and while it's awesome for convenience, they do not taste good enough for me to want to eat them all the time when I'm at home. That is not the case with the Cali Cooks meal. So it's been really helpful and convenient just to be able to come home from cardio and do this. Um, heat all my food up in the pan as long as I can help it. Not one of those people that really hates on microwaves. I just, you know, purely a taste preference thing and I have the time to do it. So why not? And like I said, we are gonna go shoot all the content to launch the next big win the day launch. Um, between the Olympia and the new year and you know, just getting busy and needing to unplug for a little bit, we haven't done a drop in a little while. So have, I think, three colorways in the hats, three or four t-shirts, baby? Four hats. Four hats. Four hats, five t-shirts, and a hoodie. I know this is gonna be like a, yeah, no shit hunter kind of thing, but Quality digestive enzymes with all of the animal protein meals. It's made a big difference. Um, these are the ones Ben recommended to me. They're digestive enzymes plus betaine hydrochloride. Uh, betaine basically just gives you more stomach acid, allows you to digest things better. And then um, everything else is just obviously the specific enzymes help to break down carbs, proteins, and fats. So, you know, eating steak for meal one, higher fat meal, need to eat again afterwards. So, these have been making Big difference. And then um, I did it before I met y'all at the gym this morning, but uh, there's a cap for that. Been doing a uh, gut health drink every morning too, along with my fasted health supplements. And uh, I'll show y'all what that looks like when I let this cool off. Let me get in a bowl real quick. The whole wide world, it is one of my diet hacks, and that is truffle salt. Um, I love truffle flavor, it adds no calories to anything, and it has got a lot of flavor. So, yeah, big truffle person. This is what we'll do every morning for gut health. We'll do psyllium uh, husk powder, which is basically it's fiber. Uh, revives Daily Greens, Revives GI Plus, which is a really cool, all-encompassing like GI health product. I really like this product. And then uh, glutamine, and like I said, apple cider vinegar, and we're missing lemon juice and aloe. 
but oh, that's the gut health drink. I'll do this every morning on a fasted stomach before I go to the gym and do cardio. And then in addition to that, we'll also do you know, fasted health supplements. And I'm a big fan of Revive, obviously. I work with them. Um, you know, that being said, you do not need to take Revive health supplements, but if you are bodybuilding, especially enhanced, you do need to be taking health supplements. Um, which ones do you need to be taking? Um, off the top of my head, the ones that I really like to make sure I am doing are, I want to make sure I'm taking care of my blood pressure. I want to make sure I am taking care of my lipids because a lot of the things that you do with enhanced bodybuilding will really skew your lipids, especially your healthy cholesterol. Then I want to take care of my organs. So kidney, liver, and heart. So those are the big ones that I take every single day from them. Um, there's two turmerics here, sorry about that. Uh, in addition to the turmeric, turmeric's a really cool product just for overall systemic inflammation, uh, health of health of health benefits, a slew of health benefits with that one. So yeah, between that and this, this is what I'm doing every single morning fasted. And it's a nice way to get my day started and it's a nice thing to do for your insides. Um, it's never really made sense to me why bodybuilders don't prioritize their internal health. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, there's life after bodybuilding, but even if you are so, so short-sighted that you can't understand and appreciate that, you're going to look cosmetically better if you're internally healthy. So, if you're really that big of a meathead and you don't want to do anything that doesn't help your bodybuilding from an external appearance standpoint, Taking care of your insides will still do that. So uh, typically, you know, at least a couple days a week, I'll have something to do up here besides just train. You know, whether that be shoot content for Labrada or Gasp or Wolfpack or, you know, I still am minorly involved in the business, uh, especially on the Pro Series side of things. So some meetings here and there but um, yeah it's been really cool to be able to kind of come up here and have all my stuff up here and be fully settled in I don't have to be like moving in and out of the gym every time I come because before I was training here you know I was very much so one of the guys that had everything that I needed in my gym bag you know, daisy chains bands carabiners all my support gear so you know it's nice to have it all here and everything have a place and you know, be able to get here for the day. So, like, I have my next meal, my pre-meal, my lunchbox. So, we'll uh, knock out some of this clothing drop and then eat before and then, you know, film while I'm digesting. So, it just makes things very, you know, streamlined and conducive to getting a lot done in one day. So, very fortunate to have this up here. It's time to bring the fire. Six new colorways of the Winter Day hats. And then we did our all new pole day shirt. Because if I can't have a back, I'm gonna make a shirt with the back on it and wear that, right? And then we got the Win the Day in the three original colorways, my favorites. The black on black, white on black, and red on black. And then excited about this one, new Win the Day hoodie with the progressor die on back. Nice. Be up on the site soon. I don't think a lot of people within the really hardcore bodybuilding world really understand uh, how much the RTD business has taken off. You know, the ready to drink protein shakes and lean bodies have been going absolutely gangbusters for us for the last five years. So, you know, this is the warehouse and these are always consistently full. This is really cool every time we come in here to train and you know, kind of see, see what's making that happen right here that we're walking in. moment I realized there's a year's worth of work in this because he just got a new one a full-size one I go wait till you fill this one up because I've got a full-size one and this one goes all the way back to Chicago so I got Chicago and then 
two Olympias and two off seasons in here. Wow. Maybe we should turn this into an ebook when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> doing rest pause on our back offset, so many as you can, 10 breaths, works out to be like 20-ish seconds, many as you can again with the force trip at the end. What started out as a joke has become the most invaluable piece of workout equipment ever. Our uh, graphics team left this out here like a year and a half ago after they shot some content in the gym, and uh, it's kind of adopted it. And like I said, at first it was a joke, but now it's uh, very convenient. Blog books, all the support gear, doesn't have to have my phone on me. I like it. Lunch lady arms are coming back. You know it's true, lunch lady arms. Every lunch lady you had in high school has the triceps that you know they're so fat they hang over the elbow a little bit. Actually, my wedding present from Ben. He <laughs> brought it down to my wedding for me, and uh, one of the cooler wedding gifts I've ever heard of an Nautilus flat press.
know how we say we uh, keep it in the family. This is my uh, not so little youngest brother. Here's. All right, you ready, dude? No, not out of the hole. Just. tricep extension, some abs, and then I am going to get my fat, hairy ass in posing trunks and take right. check in for bed. It's a wrap on training today, and it's a wrap on the day in the life video, if you will. Um, had a lot of fun today showing you all this kind of what you know, a typical day looks like. Um, I'm going to be doing these a lot more regularly, so if you like this one, uh, drop it in the comments what you'd like to see in the next one. I'd love to do more stuff outside of the gym, because I do more than just train in the gym. I'd love to show you all. So need to know what you all want to see, though. But uh, anyways, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Uh, you'll get a notification anytime we drop a new video. Doing our best to put two to three out a week right now. I'm having a lot of fun doing it, so I think we'll be able to do it. But anyways, see y'all next time.